Welcome everyone, you're tuning into Engaging Walk. My name is Drake. And my name is Ruby. We believe in the power of walking together and talking together. It's a simple act to stay connected and movement is key. So this week we've got our dog with us. She's she's a little turned around at the moment, but um, she's with us today. We're doing a recap and a uh, update on Boba, the corgi. She's shy. She's our, our little girl, our little corgi girl, and we've had her now for about four months. Or, well, actually almost going on to the fifth month. Mm-hmm. Oh, it was like... It was May yeah. when we got her. So yeah, it was like early May. So we're getting close to the uh, the fifth month with her. And um, we just recently got back from a really great trip to Yosemite, Sequoia. Uh, we went on a bunch of road... Uh, on a really long road trip, like a whole week with this girl. And uh, we're super proud of her and all of her achievements and her growth and um, her <laughs> obedience and all of that. And uh, we thought we'd give you guys a little update on her. Yeah. So right now, for dog years, she is um, a teenager. Mm -hmm. So just like us, as a teenager, we change a lot. So we're still waiting for her period to come. So uh, it can be any time, any moment now. Um, In terms of of her temperament, um, it's still her, but she changed quite a bit in terms of... um, how she expressed herself, definitely she have more focus than the pup as a puppy. And um, she te- like this morning she showed me to like she was she was sitting at the door and looking at me and I know that okay she wanna go out, but then her her dad just took her out for like two two hours ago. And usually we just like more than four hours, between four to six hours we would take her out for like party. So I look at her and I give her a, um, a button and then on um, buttons, we, I, we, we will tell her like this button to go outside. So I ask her, Boba, you need to go outside, push the button. And then she did. So I was surprised. And of course, when I took her out, um, she pooped right away. So it's, it's, it's great to see that, you know, she able to communicate with you in more comely, uh, complex um <laughs> this girl. She's about to yeah. jump off the off the thing, so I'm gonna carry her for a bit, get her yeah. comfortable. Yeah, and um, she very vo- she, I think she 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 vocal, but is more as a teenager. What do you think? Yeah, I think like right now, like watch if I say tell her Boba say oof. Let me see if she'll do it to the microphone. Boba say oof. Say oof. Ooh, she's sniffing. Say oof, Boba. Boba say oof. She's not doing it. She's camera shy. But yeah, she likes to do that. We communicate with her and have her communicate with us. So we tell her to like, hey, say oof when she wants to, um, when we ask her if she wants something. That way she's, you know, she's talking to us. Yeah. And uh, she loves it. She loves hanging out with us. And like Ruby was saying, is she's really growing and what she can do and what she can communicate. Mm-hmm. And it's really, really great to see like the hard work that you put into training with the dog and bonding with them and coming to a level of understanding with them that, um, you know, that they, that the bond increases. And with that comes new levels of understanding and new levels of like having fun together, which Mm -hmm. is why we were able to take that trip with her. Yeah. You know, so that was like a really important thing with us because like we, from the beginning decided like, Hey, this dog is a member of our family. And we want to be able to take her everywhere and have her experience things with us. Mm-hmm. And um, so, yeah, that was a really fun thing. And just like Ruby was saying, it's like, you know, she can push the buttons now. You know, she can go like, oof, when she wants like her treats or things like that. And it's um, she's a really special, sweet girl. And yeah. uh, we love her. And it's really nice to have her at home. And um, and Ruby did a really great job, especially like the first uh, four or five months now. Mm-hmm. That she spends a lot of time with Boba. Yes. So I'll take her out in the morning before I go to work. But then, you know, Ruby will spend the day with her and bond with her, take her out, like, teach her tricks, teach her, like, things that she wants her to do and and play time. This girl (laughs) loves her play time. She can play all day. So the one thing that I also see in her change is that um, she used to be very easy eater in terms of variety of food. And I was surprised that she loved watermelon, strawberry, apples. 
Watermelon boba. Uh, <laughs> um, broccoli, carrot, cilantro, all kinds of vegetables that I don't think dogs will like. She would just try it, taste it, and she chew on it. And um, now she, I think last week, that's why she started doing that. That means I gave her watermelon, which is she loved watermelons throughout of you know fruits, and she put her nose in against it, sniff, and walk away. Uh-huh. And I was like, no, you She's cannot changing. just do it. You can't do it because you touch it. The moment you touch, it, you have to eat it. And she just walk away. <laughs> so I had to throw that piece. And I think she did an, again today. With uh, apples, she loves apples, and then we have we gave her organic apples. This girl eats so good. And not that we gave food always organic, but it's you know it's happened because we like we want to try that, and it's, it's happened to be organic. So this girl will sniff at that piece of apple and walk away. I'm like, oh my goodness. Anyway, so her we. <laughs> She put it on the hat. Yeah, she likes it. So Boba's... She's silly. Boba is changing on her diet, the way she likes things. She's more interested in like real food, like solid. Um, She's interested in what we're eating now. She yeah. We didn't really care before. Oh my goodness, yes. So I was... I didn't know that until like I was just eating my popcorn and then she ran at to me and barked really hard and loud. Arr! And then she like, gave it to me. Come on, give it to me. And, you know? And then uh, I, was, I was shocked because this is like, I never seen this girl behave like this and in terms of food. And she very like, you know, nice eater. Um, She's playing with it. It's cute. Oh my goodness. Okay. So yeah, I'm, so I can see that she's showing more what she likes and mm-hmm. she does like. And um, in terms of, I mean, in show show, she's still very nice, and she think I think she thinks that she's a big dog. Yeah. She loves playing with 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 you know bigger size dog than herself. Than Just her a little size. while ago, she was playing with a full size Doberman, like a big <laughs> one. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what and then uh, so what do you think is your like the the nicest thing or like your favorite thing that you've been able to encounter in raising Boba? Um, well, have a companion, com- companion for sure, and just just get to know her as a dog. Um, before having a dog, like you know, very beginning, I thought like dogs just, you know, the same. But no, every single one of them have different temperament, and it's 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 nice to have a journey to get to know her, and it's also trying to know how the way she communicate to us, and also communicate back to her. Um, it's at the beginning definitely frustrating a little <laughs> bit. Frust- yeah, it's a little bit frustrating, but getting to know her is fun. Mm-hmm. And this girl is super sweet. And yeah, as you can probably see right now, like she's just <laughs> sniffing, smiling, hanging out. <laughs> I'm not know. sure you can see that, but she's sniffing on um, the curtain. And I'll say that um, although she and I have a have a good bond. And lots of love between us. There's nothing like the bond and the love between her and, and Ruby. Because of how much time that Ruby spent with her, that Boba, the, there's a huge smile on her face when she's with her mom. And, and her mom's not, holding her. It's true. And, not so true. Because I think she's close with to both of us. So she's instantly happy when she sees both of us at home. And because I because I told Drake that throughout the day she was just like being boba, being okay, girl, you know, and hap not, mm-hmm. but but she would start smiling when both of us show up. You yeah, know? like this. This is her smile. Yeah, she's like, "Hi, I'm happy to be here." And it's very cute and loving. Mm-hmm. Probably gonna let her down now. That's her camera time. She had about ten minutes, so that's good for her. Go ahead, baby, go play. Boba, you wanna go down? See, oof. Let's get her to do oof before she goes. Boba, say oof. Boba, say oof. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, she did it. Say oof. Come on, one more time. Oof. Ooh, she did. Yay. Yeah, she did it very soft because we trained her that way, so mm-hmm. which is good. Okay, go ahead. So, oh yeah, one thing that we love to, uh, that we train her is to, to say a soft oof. Yeah, um, corgis can be really, really loud. Super loud. And um, m- when I took her to the public, lots of people 
especially I remember I went to Trader Joe's and then all the staff, you know, signal each other, say, hey, Corgi's in the oh, store, yeah. Corgi in the store. That's See right. that? And then and then I overheard um, one, you know, one person say, oh, it's, it's okay, don't worry. It's, this girl is chill. So I was <laughs> like, yeah, finally, um, we have a well-behaved Corgi. So she's behaved, behaved pretty well mm-hmm. in the public. Um, lately again because she's changing as a teenager she will bark randomly and but also because she just got back from the trip so the trip is really like upscale her in terms of routines and uh, environments because this girl remind you we on the road for like seven days yeah it was a full heavy week <clears throat> of traveling and we on we like travel on. So she there's a moment that she didn't want to go back in the car. She's like, I don't want to go. Which is the first because she loves the car. Yeah. So, um, so there's a lot of constant. She have been through a week of constantly changing, constantly sleep in different spots, and and to the point that she always went to our bed to mm-hmm. sleep to like, hey, I need a comfort. So, um, so. You know, we're still observing her in terms of, um, you know, socialize and toward human also toward all the dogs that we make sure that she feel comfortable and safe, you know, because um, we just want to, her to be a good girl. Yeah, I think like there's it's really wonderful to have a dog um, that when you're uh, newlyweds and you have some time to each other to develop some routines and your culture together. That once you once you take on a dog, it's like really good practice yeah. for having children, and um, and it's really good practice to see like the investment of what you put into a project. In this case, our our dog, and to see that come to fruition in terms of like joy and happiness mm-hmm. and companionship, and you know. At this point, like, I, I think when I think of my family, I think of Ruby and I think of Boba. Like, mm-hmm. that's my family. Mm-hmm. You know, my, the, the family that we have is, is the three of us, you know, and our, and our additions to our family is an addition. And then, like, we have to think of, like, okay, you know, when we have a child, how are we going to not just abandon Boba? Yeah. You know, how, is, how are we going to bring her into our family? Uh, mm-hmm. You know the how are we gonna bring keep her and they make her feel like she is part of the family with new additions, mm-hmm. you know because she's very special to us and um, <clears throat> and I think that's like when you have your first you know family dog as you know newlyweds you know that's like a really it's a really interesting experience to take that on and like constantly check with each other to make sure that like because I think. In the beginning, it's really difficult because you're going through that puppy yes. stage, you know, like because you're you're setting the routines, you're setting the boundaries, you're setting the expectations and all that kind of stuff. And constantly scaffolding, you know, the, the, the routines like, hey, this is what I'm going to do. Repeat it, repeat it, repeat it again. Yeah. But once you sort of hit like a groove with them, it kind of becomes like a lot easier mm-hmm. because the expect- everything's over the foundations there. And I think that's like a lot like with marriage, too. Or pretty much like any relationship is like once you have the foundation set up and once you have the expectations ironed out and everything is like, you know, not to say it becomes easy, but the challenges that do come are are different. And they're not just like these, you know, these challenges to like your family norms, Mm -hmm. if, if that makes sense. Yeah. Like also, I I want to go back to the series that we just did well, um, for intimacy I think it's also bring you know up the level of in the intimacy because you like we, well we don't see her as a project but this is something that we work together um, and she's family member so um, and we just need to know how can we as a couple help her you know to develop well and and spend time with her and, and get to know her and let her get to know us in the nice in, in the way that you know like we express ourselves to um and i think um with that will come a lot of opportunity to communicate within which each other and i there will be time like instead of talking about engaging what content we will talk about how do we deal with boba 
Yeah. Because I remember we went to the puppy stage. It's crazy. It was crazy. And、um, we always go back to our, you know, the knowledge of the previous dog that we have. But also, like, okay, but this is Boba. How do we, you know, help her? And yeah. And, and it, with each dog that you have in your life, there's different challenges、mm-hmm. in terms of like bringing them into your family and then becoming,、um, you know, like a really close bond between each other.、Mm-hmm. And、uh, like some of the challenges, that, like we'll, just, we'll go with like the, the benefits first, is like she's super sweet. Yeah. She loves to be loved. Very she sweet. She loves to give affection. She wasn't very affectionate at first, but that was because she was just very curious. <laughs> yes,、like、this curious. girl. And she's still very curious, but. You can see that she's sniffing on the curtain. And if I do something new, she was like, What is that? I want to see it. Like her face right there. You know? She's very interested in what we're doing. We're very, she's very interested in us. She's very interested in our family、mm-hmm. and wants to be a part of our family. And that's, that's you know, she's, she's involved and she loves, <laughs>、yeah. she loves that involvement. Uh-huh. And, uh huh. And, but she also needs, um, Exercise and she needs she needs comfort and she、mm. needs discipline. But what we've learned is that after we have to, like, hey, you know, this is not okay, these are the boundaries. Once we enforce that on her, we have to also give her affection. She,、mm-hmm. she requires it. So she will understand discipline very quickly. Like, oh, okay, yeah, this is, this is no, you know, I'm not supposed to just leave the door. You know, if、oh、the door is、goodness. open, I'm not just supposed to run outside. We、yeah. discipline her, make sure she understands, like, hey, this is not okay. You can't just run outside the house. We're going to do some training to make sure that you understand, okay, when the door is、mm-hmm. open, it doesn't mean run out. So we give her treats, make her sure that she understands. But like, once we're done with that, it's, you know, it's cuddle time. And she, needs, and she needs that cuddle and the discipline, just like a child does,、mm-hmm. just so they understand. Because the other thing is, like, you can't let. You know, the dog set the, the rules.、Mm-hmm. They just don't know any better. If you let them do what they want to do, they're going to, you know. They will run the house. They'll run the house, they'll run you, and they're going to get themselves hurt. And then also, because she's a working dog or herding dog,、um, they tend to be, want to become a leader. So we have to make it very clear that, well, you're not a leader in the house. And this is mom, this is dad, and you are. The next one. So、um, we have to make it very clear at the moment that she comes home and、um, she she p i c k up very quick. This girl learned learn very quick.、Mm-hmm. Um, and then she's super funny. Like she would do certain things that were like, that's super cute and fun. Like I cannot get mad at her because she's super cute, but I have to remind myself, like, okay, don't let her cuteness, you know, trick you.、So. Yeah, because she could use it to her advantage. But yes. There isn't, a, there isn't a, a malicious or aggressive bone in her body.、No. All she wants to do is play and be loved, but that playful.、Um, Can get her in trouble. Get her in trouble and get her hurt. <laughs> she, there、yes. was a couple of times where it got her hurt. And that was scary for me. I was like, oh my goodness. Like, you know, she, she wasn't seriously hurt. Obviously, she's fine. But it's just like enough to scare you as like the parent. Like, and,、oh. Yeah. And then one thing that I learned by having her is that I cannot just be- get frustrated because she, like, she's just a pup. And even now, she's just seven months old.、Um, she may look <clears throat> double her size since we take her home, but she's still a pup. So being patient, being, and understand that, that she does it out of. Playfulness, you know, being playful, and she, she doesn't understand much any better. So she did some certain things that in the past that drive me cra- drove me crazy. But then I look back and say, oh, she just w a n t to hang out and play, have fun. And she just doesn't know how to do it a different way. And so I was mad, but like,、um, I shouldn't be, you know. Yeah, there's so many adjustments and so、yeah. many, like, It's so, so many fun processes that we go through to better understand each other as a family.、Mm-hmm. You know, myself, Ruby, Boba, we, you know, I feel like that we got there though, that we're like right now we're at a really good place and she's learning more and、mm-hmm. she's learning more and she's having really lo- lots of fun. And,、um, and she like, she has her routines and it's been a lot better since we got back on the trip. She's like, 
she's like, oh, I'm so thankful to be home. I'm yeah. so thankful to be like back in my routine because she was having a hard time the last couple of days mm-hmm. with all the traveling. She was like, I'm in the car. I don't want to be in the car anymore. Yeah. Like, I want to go back home. So one thing that you went as what I learned to have a dog or have a pet routine is helping, you know, the owner big time. And even like in travel, I that's what I realized in the, you know, in the middle of the trip. Like, hey, this guy's struggling. But what we can do is that we still c- kind of keep a routine, like take her out, walk her a bit, then hit the road. At least she has something that she's familiar with, um, even though it's a different environment. And then let her have playtime because we cannot stop at dog parks, you know, in the middle of the forest. Yeah. Um, but she gets to play with nature and she loved it because we... We found a creek in Yosemite, and this girl went nuts. Yeah, she gone. Yeah, I posted. <laughs> if you see on our YouTube page, there's a little bit of footage, um, like a trailer. Yeah. Of of her playing in the creek, but there's a lot more footage to come next week, um, when we post our our road trip. So mm-hmm. we're like really looking forward to doing that. It's it's going to be footage from our trip to Yosemite. Sequoia, um, Solvang, um, Santa Barbara, and being on the road together during that time. And uh, we're going to you know, reflect on the journey a lot more and do a, a podcast about it. But that's, gonna, uh, that's coming up next week. Look for that. It's going to be a lot of fun. And you're going to see some, a lot of that footage of like the Ruby was talking about where rope, you know, we got to Yosemite and then we found this creek. Yeah, it's kind of like a river. I don't know. It was like somewhere between like a creek and a river, but it was, it was really cold, refreshing, it was really cold and refreshing. But like she got in there, she was like, "Oh, like this is." She was surprised with the coldness of the water because when she put her fit, uh, her, her her paws in, she jumped. Oh, like, oh my goodness, what is this? And then she started, you know, drinking all the water in, and she loved it. And then she's kind of bite. The yeah. water, it was so funny the how she responds to the, you know, new environment. And then, she, of course, she do the bunny hop. She does her corgi bunny hop in the water. And zooming and, you know, and all kinds of stuff. But, yeah, this girl is very adventurous. Um, but having said that, you know, like, what we for this episode, we're trying to like update you guys on Boba, how she's doing. And if you haven't followed her, uh, she have an Instagram. It's called uh, Boba the Corgi SD for san diego yep. and um i just try to capture you know as much as i can for you know her life and her development and um just just so that you get to know her and um she's super cute and super sweet and um very adventurous per, uh corgi yeah i almost say person yeah she has her own personality she's tough Really tough girl. We we missed the opportunity to record it, but like last Saturday, um, at church she was. No, it, was it was recent Sunday, just oh, a su- couple no, days. Su- Sunday, yeah. Yesterday. Yes, yesterday she was tuckle with um, another big dog. Yeah, this dog is probably I think like a. Um, it, that dog is thirteen years old. Yeah, and she's like a I would say like either like a lab and um, Argentina or like Rhodesian Ridgeback mix. Mm-hmm. I think she's Rhodesian Ridge, Ridgeback mix. So that dog is a service dog, um, and then they she very. Um, does, does she calm? Have, she's super calm, but she also on like her service time, but the the owner just let her relax. So and then the owner surprised that her, his dog tuck tuck a war or like. Wrestle, kind of wrestling, wrestling, Two females. yeah, wrestling with Boba, and the the owner said like I haven't seen her play with the other dog for years, so somehow this girl know how to like trigger the other dog like let's play with me, I'm cute. <laughs> That's what she does. That's at, what she loves to do. Yeah, at the dog park, she would just run to all the dogs and then say Hey, chase me, let's chase, let's play, uh, and then say hi, you know. So that's that's Boba. Yeah, having dogs is such a joy. Um, Ruby and I both grew up with dogs in our families. Mm-hmm. And then to have one together uh, as a married couple has been like such a great experience. And um, yeah, we're super thankful and happy <clears throat> Excuse me, to be sharing our experiences together with her. 
And um, yeah, I think maybe just some of the, a few reflection points of having her for the last four months is the patience that's required to mm-hmm. to grow together with the dog and to have ex- reasonable expectations of what the dog can do and what the dog can understand mm-hmm. and to love them and to give them affection and discipline and and routine and Mm -hmm. because the discipline isn't just you know discipline the discipline is the routine yeah um and and making sure that they understand hey this is what we do for safety uh crossing the street ruby is really great about making sure that we always come to a sit and stop and look so you know god forbid she ever gets out that training will kick in she she doesn't go across the street and get hit by a car you know or or, or again or get lost or anything like that so and then i think it also goes to you know not just dogs but also all the you know pets because i know people have cats birds you know all kinds of stuff but i think routine and being patient and oh and one thing that people think that oh when i taught my dog this this stage they learn remember for for life no you have to repeat it repeat it like right now we go through all the basic with her again yeah. how to walk how to behave pretty much remind her every single thing and again we have to remind us like don't don't get frustrated it just it just it just dog de- development so don't get harsh on your pet but just be patient be loving and just Go through repeat, repeat, and you know, um, daily uh, training with them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, and um, so much, and I've and I've learned that like so much, and she's like right at my feet right now. Yeah, she loves to sit next to us and like under uh, under the table right now. But what I learned is like, even a puppy, like they need exercise, and then once they have that exercise. They can eat well, you know, use the bathroom. Mm-hmm. Um, they, they're much more attentive to training, yeah. much more able to give affection and, mm-hmm. to, like, to, and to develop the bond because they know like, their needs are met. Mm-hmm. And Ruby is really great at, at uh, understanding Boba's needs because like the other day, you know, I was like, hey, why isn't she doing this? And you know, Ruby was like, well, she hasn't done... She hasn't had any exercise uh, lately. She needs to go for a walk. When she has a walk, she'll she'll be able to eat better, or she'll be able to like bring herself to eat and drink her water. Yeah, you know, a she, tired dog is easier to train. <laughs> so you know, and I yeah. was like, yeah, that's 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 what we should do. Bring her out and get her go get her get her get some going some exercise, and um and yeah, that's yeah, it's a great experience. It's lovely to have a you know a loving animal that. You know, really, like all they can do is love and and to show happiness and mm-hmm. show affection. You know, we're blessed to have them. We're blessed to have dogs in our lives, I think. And you know, especially this one. Yeah. You know, because she's she's so she's so sweet and special. Mm-hmm. And I think that uh, in terms of you know, as a couple, we get to you know see her growth and also see us grow. How how we teach her, how we you know train her and uh, we also I learned so much from you um, you know as just as you just shared that you, you you observe how I treat her and you learn from that but also I, I have learned so much from you like you very quick to to give love to affection for her for me I straight I'm, I'm more strict than him I was like nope you are gonna you know let it sit for maybe half of a day or like more than that not more than that like couple hours for him no just keep up a couple minutes that's it move on because the faster you move on they understand okay done now it's love time so that's what i learned from drake and i think as you um work with your partner uh, with your pet you get to see a different part of them and i think having a pet is just like a foreshadow for a baby to come so you can see okay can i trust my partner in this do I see him, you know, rising up as a father, rising up as a, you know, male figure, leader figure in the family? And also 
vice versa, you know, vice versa. Um, he he do do he see something like that? So that you know is also opportunity for for you to discuss with your partner, and also for you to to grow together as a partner. Yeah, it's um, it's so much growing, so much growth, and um, we've only had her for four months. <laughs> yeah. So we're looking forward to Boba growing with us in the future, and to see what she's going to be like in the future, and yeah. to see how our family grows together. And honestly, like we've gone through so much right now. We're trying to get her to eat more because, like, we're just like, oh, we're like a little like always afraid that she's undersized. But you know, I think there's a big drastic difference between from what I've seen with female corgis and male corgis. Mm-hmm. And from what I've seen because there's a lot in the San Diego area, is that the male corgis are just substantially larger yeah. than the females. But, you know, we're always like, like trying to get her like her health optimal so that she's happy, healthy, and eating well, you know, coats taken care of and all that good stuff. And um, and one thing, one thing that if you have a corgi, and I'm not sure if you worry about their fluffiness, not have not coming in yet. Um, I talked to a lot of, you know, other owners and corgi tend to be slim because they're very active dog. Um show does she, she she runs a lot and um, mm-hmm. so she's very slim and I, we thought that she underway but actually know that she she's perfectly fine Corey tend to like get more built in after a year and a half or the two years like between like a, after they pass one year that's where their body fit, you know get filled in so if you have a corgi and the corgi kind of slim don't worry about it just focus that little corgi if the, the the right amount and good nutrition that corgi is on the good spot yeah we love having her we love to hear from you guys um if you have similar experiences, uh, struggles that you've gone through raising your pet. Especially Corgi. Um, <laughs> tips, tricks, uh, tips on how to get them to do new tricks. Oh, yes. And um, or any kind of things like that. We'd love to hear from you guys. Mm-hmm. Uh, share your favorite Corgi photos. Uh, we, you can either follow us on Instagram or you can follow her directly on Instagram. Um, it'd be for us, it's Engaging Walk. Uh, on on Instagram and then for her like uh, Ruby said it's um, Boba the Corgi SD. Um, you guys are either probably watching this on YouTube or Spotify. Make sure you follow, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Help our channel grow. Oh, sorry about that. I use my phone so that we can record this. But um, you know, give us a fo- give us a follow, give us a uh, a like, all that good stuff, and um, help our channel grow. We Again, you know, if you have any tips or suggestions of que- or questions that you would like to see answered in the future, let us know. And we'd love to do episodes about that. And, um, yeah, so we love having you guys. And we have a lot of things to look forward to in terms of this new episode that we have coming out. It's super exciting. It's going to be a full, a full account of our awesome road trip and visiting multiple cities multiple um, national parks in California, beautiful scenery, and we're really looking forward to sh- sharing that um, those moments with you guys. And last but not least, um, next series that we are talking about, we will focus on the family culture. So if you're interested in that, don't forget to follow us and look out for that series. Yeah, it's going to be a great series. We're wrapping up with the Intimacy series. And yeah, we love you guys. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. And um, yeah, lots of look, lots of things to look forward mm-hmm. to for Engaging Walk. And don't forget to visit our website, www.engagingwalk.com for more info. And um, with that, I'm Drake. This is Ruby. We are signing out. Bye.